hold up, I am on my way. I'm in mode. Hey guys, welcome along. So for today's video, I am baking cookies. Um, these are sort of like ginger cinnamon with white chocolate cookies. I've seen them on Zoe Soak's channel. I've already baked them once and they are <laughs> so delightful. So I thought, wouldn't it be awesome to show you guys? And um, because I'm running out of Christmas materials and I'm also Team Santa, in case you didn't know. Um, so I'm just gonna run through. I've got the um, website in front of me. The website is jamespatisserie.com. So that's where I got the recipe from. I will link it below. These cookies are the size of my head for a start and they are delightful. So let's get baking. So if you can think of anything, like if you've got any good cookie recipes or anything Christmassy for that matter, please do let me know because I love cooking at Christmas. I love baking anyway. But at Christmas, I love everything like cinnamon and stuff like that. Just gorgeous. And in case you're wondering what that noise is, Max is behind me eating. So that'll end soon, don't worry about it. So the first thing we need to do, if you see me looking down here, this is where my laptop is. So the first thing we need to do is add unsalted butter and brown sugar into a bowl and beat. So, oh. The unsalted butter, I've, I've measured most things out before, except for like the cinnamon and stuff, because they're just teaspoons of things. But for the most part, I've measured everything out. Oh, and I've just almost dropped it. I may, I left my butter out to go soft. I'm just chopping it up a little bit, but that's basically just to make it a little bit easier. I had to get like a high sided bowl, because when I tried this last time, I had a normal bowl, and my God, it went everywhere, absolutely everywhere. I don't know if you can smell the sniffing, <laughs> smell, I don't know if you can hear the sniffing brown sugar in the bowl, but that is Max. Wasn't so bad. Right, next, we need to put in an egg, which I have forgotten to get out, but luckily they're just here one egg and if we are adding vanilla to add it at this point one teaspoon of vanilla how cute are these i got these off amazon you know because i've got all gold everything can hear that and i and um, they did take about 50, oh, I forgot to light my candle. These did take about 15 million years to come. To be fair, they came from China, but um, so cute. So now, right, so now we have to add plain flour ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, baking powder, bicarb, and salt. So I will start with the spices first. Um, so what have we got here? Nutmeg. We need half a teaspoon of nutmeg. The smell of nutmeg. Oh, it's just Christmas, but also, it reminds me, do you remember, um, well do you remember, they're still out, people still eat them, they're one of my faves, egg custards, I love egg custards, I used to make them all the time, quite, um, this is nutmeg and that is half a teaspoon again, they're quite easy to make actually, you know when you're making things like that, I don't bother making the pastry because the filling's the, the star of the show, so I just buy them ready made, um, ones cinnamon so cinnamon is half a teaspoon the nutmeg should have been one and a half teaspoons so i need to put more nutmeg in which is good because i've just been telling you how much i like it there we 
we go. So now we need bicarb, which is half a teaspoon. Double check on that because the bacon powder and bicarb thing, oh, you don't want to have them mixed up. Baking powder is one and a half teaspoons, so that is significantly more. And then one. Done, so. Right, I'm just going to stir them in first because I don't want to add too much dry to this um, wet ingredients because it's going to be harder to like incorporate it all. Just makes the job easier. You stop thinking about everything else, don't you, when you're baking? Don't get me started on baking while drinking tipsy hot chocolate. Did you see my um, gift wrapping video? I wrapped presents in the most beautiful way. The presents themselves looked adorable. But I was drinking um, like an alcoholic hot chocolate. I mean, it was all right. It, 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 it tasted beautiful and do you know what else? The presents turned out beautiful. I can hear the phone ring. Hello. Um, that was my mother. Right, so next I'll put some, just a pinch of salt in. And then I have to add 300 grams, which is an awful lot, <laughs> but that's what it says, of white chocolate chips. And it goes. I am using my plastic baking sheets, which I spoke about in my Amazon haul video. These things are an absolute godsend. Right, so let's get this on. Um, and the each each cookie ball should be 120 grams each. That is a decent amount of cookie ball, isn't it? Okay guys, so as suspected the battery did go, but this is what the cookies should look like when they're all assembled, covered in white chocolate and actually massive. Now these have to go in the fridge for an hour or the freezer for half an hour before going in the oven. So I will see you in half an hour. Okay guys, so that's them out of the freezer. They were in there for 30 minutes. Now because they are so big, it's four per tray. So I've just done two trays. I'm gonna put them in the oven now for 12 to 14 minutes. And I'll come back to you when they are done and looking fabulous. Here you go guys, look at them. Don't they look delightful? I am so impressed with them. I'm gonna leave them on here to cool down for a little bit um, and then I will come back to you. can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas That's Max's tail mm. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video let me know if you try making them yourself and if you do, tag me on Instagram. I'm at the house that Jack built. Um, I'd love to see your creations. And like I said before, if you've got anything, uh, any cute Christmas recipes, even drinks, cocktails, I've been looking for cocktail recipes, will you please comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I shall see you guys on Monday. Bye guys.